Hi guys, welcome to day four of Write a Novella in a Week. I'm sorry I look crazy again. I'm sweating right now. It's a little toasty outside. I've been running around. I work and I kind of have hard hat head. First up on the agenda for today, I just got back from the grocery store. I am actually uh, doing weights. Heavy bag. I'm going to be making cake. I wanted to make a cake from scratch, but you know, there's scratch ingredients in here, right? Um, ain't nobody got time for that. So I got that one and confetti. It was buy one, get one, which I feel like was a mistake because I don't ever eat sugar, basically. So this is gonna be a huge treat for me. Oh, and the important reason of why I'm making cake is it's Steven's birthday today, so you gotta have a cake for your birthday. And I didn't wanna buy a cake. I hate buying like already made cakes. I used to love to bake. Little known fact about me, I used to bake all the time and I had like gorgeous creations. I would get into baking, like I would get into it. So I um, had to pick up some stuff for the cake. So really quick, I thought I could have a little cake baking thing. I bought a bunt pan because I don't have one. I wanted to get little mini bunt pans um, but Publix didn't, whoa, my eyeball, I got like a ghost eye. Um, Publix didn't have little mini bunts, but that's what I wanted because here's what's going to happen and here's why I hardly ever bake anymore. Steven likes cake, he likes cookies, but only like a couple. So what happens is I end up making a whole batch of cookies or a whole cake or a whole something and then he only has a little bit, and then I have no self-control, and end up eating all of it in two days. So, that's why I hardly ever bake. But, it's his birthday. So I'm planning on making a strawberry, strawberry cake. So, I'm, I'm pretty much going to, of the little cake, imagine this is the beautiful cake, and I'm just manhandling it. I'm gonna, um, get some straw, we have strawberries, so I'm just gonna coat the strawberries in sugar, mix them up until they're all nice and juicy, and then pour it into the middle, and then just put a simple glaze over the rest of it. And I thought that would be pretty nice and simple, basic and light and wonderful. All of the words for cake, except the M word, which is right there. Wait, this box feels sticky. Ugh, gross. I don't know why that would be sticky. Blech. First, let's get some light in here. Look how dark it is. It's depressing. Ah, ah. I'm sorry if I ruptured your eardrums. With my beautiful singing. Ah, yes, much better. All right, let's make a cake. Oh, and I'm making Rocky a cake too. Like a dog cake? I think I was supposed to get some ingredients for that. Oh no. Um, because today is also Rocky's birthday. They share a birthday. Coincident? I think not. also on me. It was delicious. All right, so the cakes are done. Doggy cake and Steven's cake. So those are gonna have to cool before I can touch them and ice them and all that fancy stuff. So I'm gonna try to write as much as I can before Steven gets home. 
before he calls me. When he calls me, he always calls me when he's leaving work. When he calls me, I'm gonna get started on dinner. He didn't say what he wanted, but I figured he could want a steak, you know, maybe. So I got him a steak at the store. And yeah, I don't know what sides we're gonna have. Maybe I'll make potatoes for him. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm gonna try to write as much as I can before he calls me. Oh, I never updated you on how much I wrote today. Uh, I'll have to look into that because I don't actually know off the top of my head. But I think it was about 700 at work during lunch, so not a lot, but it was a busy work day. So let's get to writing. Do you even bake? That cake looks good. Proud of myself, I did it. Um, I forgot, I sort of forgot, I didn't totally forget. Steven and I are going to see Ready Player One <clears throat> for his birthday. I started making dinner and I, I totally, I don't know, I guess I just didn't realize how close to six it was. Uh, that's the time of our movie showing, so. I had to get ready, dogged outside going potty, had to get ready, Steven's coming home and immediately picking me up because it is 5.37 and we don't wanna be late. I feel weird leaving this out on the counter, like I feel like I should cover it up, but we don't have anything to really cover it up. Like, we don't have like a little cake cover or jig anywhere. <gasps> I should have done it on one of our chargers, that would've been so cute. I forgot we had those. So I'm gonna figure that out. Get ready, like change, get ready. I did one 20 minute sprint before Steven called me and I wrote like 500 words, just over 500 words. So again, not too much, but I'm hoping the movie will be over at eight. We might be back here by like nine. It'll be over at like 8.30. So I'm hoping I can get at least two sprints in before we call it a night. I took tomorrow off work, sort of to catch up on my writing. It's turning into mostly catch up being, um, catching up for my writing, but yeah. Uh, so I will see you after we have watched Ready Player One. I'm so excited. Steven didn't read the book, but I did, and I'm excited. I'm kind of nervous though because I think it's easy to mess it up, like science fiction y type stuff. I hope it's not too like CGI crappy. I hope the CGI is not crappy. We're seeing it in 3D too. And we're getting our popcorn and our drink delivered to us like when we sit down. We don't have to stay in line. We just go sit down and we're like, woo, bougie. Anyway, I will see you afterward. Hi guys, so I'm jumping in from the future. <laughs> I'm currently editing this video and I realized I never got back on and sort of finished up the video. So uh, I left my paper inside. Let's see if I can remember it. So I ended up for this day writing a total of 1,807 words, I believe. So my grand total is like 9,880. We ended up going to see, of course the bird starts. We ended up going to see Ready Player One and we loved it. It was really good. Um, and then we came back, I think I did another 20 minute sprint or another couple 20 minute sprints before I just like passed out, I was so tired. Oh, and of course we celebrated his birthday, had dinner. Um, the cake was amazing, it was delicious, and then the dogs enjoyed their cake. Rocky. Also, little tidbit that um, I feel like I've tried to say like in the description, but I don't know if people have read it, but this was, this series was filmed, um, I kinda wanna sit down, but the ground is wet. I did sit down. <laughs> this series was filmed um, about two months ago, like one and a half months ago, and I'm just now getting around to editing it and getting it out there for you guys. There was, it wasn't seven consecutive days that I did this whole series in. 
next round I do plan on making that a goal but since this was the first time I'm not too upset about it so it took about a month um, but it was still seven days it just wasn't they just weren't all together um, and then a couple things that I've noticed that are different about this novella it's written like 500 years before the Elysian prophecy and it involves one of the characters that's mentioned in the Elysian, Pro Elysian prophecy and um, one of the things that I noticed about it is sort of historical fantasy. Can we just talk about how Rocky is struggling right now? That is netting material that we had put on our fruit trees that we just tore down and he managed to get his stick stuck. So the whole time I've been filming, he has been trying to get his stick out of this thing. His moldy stick. Gross. And of course he picks a huge stick. Go ahead. So it's kind of like a historical fantasy and I've never written anything historical. So there's a lot of hurdles associated with that. Like, um, I don't know anything about Ireland. It's based in Ireland. I don't know if I, <laughs> I said that. Um, I don't know anything about Ireland in 15th century, 16th century car. So there's a lot of times I'm just like blank city, village, blank. I don't, because I had to research it and I don't want to research it while I'm writing because that will take too much time. And then another thing is that this story is um, written from one point of view perspective and I usually write in two. Um, the Elysian Prophecy has two perspectives. The second book, which I've written half of, also has two perspectives. So it's weird just writing from one perspective because I like having almost like that dramatic irony of where one character learns something but the other one doesn't know it yet. It looks like a female blue jay. Oh, and of course, as I'm zooming, it disappears. Oh, it's back. <laughs> Patiently waiting. I'm trying to get it stuck again. So that's been weird sort of changing my style a little bit it's kind of a learning experience but anyway um, I didn't my goal was sort of like 5,000 words a day but uh, this one obviously I only did about 1800 but that's okay um, because it's still like my total for day three is 10,000 which is awesome all right so it's weird filming this wrapping it up later but <laughs> I will see you in um, the next video, which I will try to put up tomorrow. We'll see how quickly I can get these edited and churned out for you guys. Give this video a like if you are enjoying these vlog style videos and if this is a challenge that you like, that you want to see more of, anything along those lines. And then um, subscribe if you want to. And then go check out my book down below. All right, I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye.